Hey guys, welcome to JP's Garage Show. I'm JP, and today we're going to check out this van that I recently got. It's a 1972 Dodge Explorer. I've been posting pictures about it. I've been putting up drawings and animations. Now we finally get the walkthrough. I'm going to kind of uh, show you what condition this is in. It's not good, so get ready for the van tour. Now before we get too far into this, I just want to ask you guys to go ahead and like and subscribe and leave a comment. Maybe ask any questions about the van that you might have, or any suggestions, or I'm all ears. If you have any cool ideas, throw them at me and we'll see if we can implement it in this. Uh, refurbishing the vintage van. And now as you can see here, we've got some thin veneer paneling on this door. These jalousy windows no longer work. We're gonna have to kind of rip them apart and fix them up. Door works. As you can see, there's a good bit of rust everywhere that accents the green quite nicely. And so all this is gonna go. We have the wood paneling up there, the stove top. We got this fridge underneath the stove. We might replace the stove. We might just clean it up really well. Not sure, but that runs on propane. This fridge is nasty, definitely gonna get rid of the fridge. It's got gross yellow stuff in it. And as you can see here, the floor is a cutaway and so I can stand completely upright right there, which is cool for cooking. Um, and just walking through the little hallway right there. And uh, so yeah, we've got cabinets up top, little tiny cabinets, probably shove some food up there, whatever fits really. So right here we have the front of the van. We got the air vents right there in the middle. Um, here's a cabinet. Some kind of funky grime up there. We're gonna try to get rid of that. Um, here's a little place for some other stuff. We got the big ol' steering wheel. Nice and thin, but really big. So that's fun to drive with. And over here we've got the turning signal, which is just a little switch. Switch left and right, which is kind of cool. It's a little bit weird getting used to that. And uh, the air blows, the heat works, but the AC doesn't work. So... We got this cool folding table to extend that little sink area. I'm going to redo the top of it and uh, make it out of some nice fresh wood instead of that uh, plywood that they've got all over this thing. And I'm not sure if I'm going to rip out those cabinets or whatnot, but that heater is going to go. All the electrical wiring is just kind of hanging out. Uh, me and my dad are working on kind of figuring out the wiring for this thing. and. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Tim Bogan. He's going to help me out with that because I'll probably burn the whole thing down if I do it on my own. And uh, so they've got the stickers all over. I'm going to just tear out all those cabinet doors and rebuild those. And and this table right here, it's going to go. This is the bathroom. Got this weird green going on. And nothing works in here. The toilet's gone. Uh, I've got to cover that hole so bees don't get in. Um, so this is kind of an all-in-one bathroom. Like you have your sink, your toilet, your shower, all-in-one. And you're just supposed to just sit on the toilet, uh, brush your teeth, and take a shower all at the same time. So pretty sweet stuff. I'm going to freshen that up. This is the bed area with dirty, nasty curtains. We're going to replace curtains. Get a nice bed for this thing. It's got a hole in the roof. We're gonna get a vent for the roof in this area. This is a tank. Gonna have to figure out if this tank is good. Might have to replace it. And so I'm gonna sand down that bottom area and then finish it with something waterproof and get a nice bed. 
And that area is comfortable for one person and cozy with two people, so it'll be good. And I'm going to rip out that flooring that we just saw right there. Get new vinyl flooring. It's going to look nice and fresh compared to that old crappy smelly stuff. And uh, we're going to reupholster the chairs or order new chairs. Get rid of all this random rusty stuff on the door. Kind of just everywhere. And uh, replace the top vents. We're going to get some solar panels, put them up there, clean it up, paint the walls, it's going to be nice. We're going to take this thing and we're going to make it nice and comfortable. Right now it kind of smells funky, it's not that great to be in, but that's the point. We're going to make it a nice vehicle. So follow these videos and uh, follow along on our journey here. We might spray the front grill, might turn it black. I'm fighting with changing it and making it look super badass or keeping the vintage style of it. Not really sure. What do you guys think? Put a comment. Should we paint it and redo it and make it modern and cool? Or should we try to keep it vintage like the original? I think making it cool would be sweet. This is our gas cap. It's gone. I don't know what happened to it doesn't fit doesn't fit on there some storage compartments there uh, I would open these but they're kind of jammed shut you need to get new locks for them all that good stuff but the propane goes in there and uh, there we have it so this is the project guys um, me and my dad are going to be working on this thing trying to rebuild it it's in pretty rough shape right now, but we're going to get it nice and smoking in no time. So please follow and subscribe, and uh, I'm going to be making videos, making the cabinets, the table, different things inside the van, maybe painting it. And uh, so we're going to have content on this thing coming. So follow along, be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for checking it out. See you next time.